All right, let's turn the page now to weather. Yeah. Matt Wentz from his home. Actually, I'm going to do it. Oh, I was just told <laughs> Matt was good. Well, I'm not quite that sure. Fib. I have I have conflicting reports, so I'm just going to get the clicker and head to the key just in case. Uh, and we're just going to, like, roll with it, right? I have no idea what Matt has on his graphics, so this is going to be super fun. We'll all find out together, won't we? Here's a look at the Lake Erie ice cover. Uh, and the interesting thing is this is today's as of 1 p.m., 48.3% ice coverage. Remember, just 48 hours ago, we were significantly less. We've had cold air. We've got calm winds. That's the perfect setup with the water temperatures that are at or just above freezing. Remember, we're not talking just surface water. We're talking water at depth that is at or just uh, right around freezing. So it, it's the perfect setup for us. Now, that being said, we still have some open areas. We've had a little disturbance that has moved through and we're probably going to have some flurries that linger around northeast Ohio. The bulk of the heavier snow has been moving out. Boy, they got tagged in southern Ohio early this morning, but you can see all that snow is now out to the east coast. We have just whatever is uh, kind of left on the backside of all this still to go tonight and it's not really going to add up to much of anything. As a matter of fact, we've had some peaks of sunshine this afternoon. That has certainly been welcome. Our next weather maker is starting to line up out to the west, and that is something that we will be keeping a very close eye on because as we head through tomorrow night, that whole storm system is going to ride right along the southern periphery of that polar vortex, that chunk of the polar vortex that dislodged and came farther south. That's why we are so cold. That also sets the storm track. That storm track does doesn't look to budge much as we go through the next seven to 10 days. So that means we will be very busy with storm after storm after storm passing through some stronger than others. But for the most part, it does look like several bouts of snow will be staying with us. Wind chills in the next 48 hours. Things are not improving all that much. Notice that up here in the northern Great Lakes, they have wind chills 25 to 30 below zero. Our wind chills single digits and teens through the night tonight into the day tomorrow. Here's your national design our hour by hour forecast. Light wind, so we're going to see a lot of ice expansion out there on the lake, but that also helps us out because it doesn't drop our wind chills completely off the surface. It just drops the wind chills down into the single digits, which by this point, I mean, come on, we've already had single digit and below zero wind chills, so we're, we're doing all right. Temperatures uh, by tomorrow afternoon should recover back into the 20s with our next round of snow kind of skirting to the south. Boy, Jay, I'll tell you what, they are getting a huge ice storm far south. That's going to be kind of interesting for them. That's in the Tennessee Valley. Not a lot more snow coming for us as we go through the next 24 hours. I'm desperately trying to get to the seven day forecast because I'm getting wrapped. There's tomorrow morning temperatures in the 20s. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to stay in the 20s. I've got to go figure out what's going on with Matt's graphics. And Jay, I'm going to send it back to you.